Lesson 12, Adding and Subtracting Fractions, builds upon Lessons 10 and 11. This lesson might be a little tricky for students if they're not used to counting by 12, so be sure to provide them with support in box A because the number 12 appears 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times during this lesson. So let's use box A as an example. Here, we have 9 tenths plus 1 twelfth. And tenths and twelfths are not the same thing, so we can't add them together. These fractions do not have the same denominator. So let's use the magic question first to see if it works. Can you do 12 divided by 10 evenly? Answer is no, so we have to use the shortcut. Here's the shortcut. Don't count by 10 and count by 12. Just count by 12, which is a larger number. Here we go. Counting by 12, we have 12 and stop. Can you do 12 divided by 10 evenly? Answer is no, so keep counting by 12. Next is 24 and stop. 24 divided by 10? Nope. Keep counting by 12. Next is 36. 36 divided by 10? Nope. Keep counting by 12. 48 divided by 10. That doesn't work either, so keep counting by 12. 60 divided by 10. Can you do that? And yes, circle and star, 60 is our LCM. So let's rewrite the problem. We'll write blank over 60 plus blank over 60. Using multiplication, how did you get from 10 to 60? And we multiplied by 6. Multiply by 6 in the numerator and denominator. Next, how did we get from 12 to 60? And we multiplied by 5. You can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Times 5 in the denominator, times 5 in the, numer in the numerator. Now it's just simple multiplication. 9 times 6 is 54. 10 times 6 is 60, and it's already there. Next, we have 1 times 5 is 5. 12 times 5 is 60, and it's already there. Now just think apples plus apples. 60 ths plus 60 ths give you 60 ths. How many 60 ths? We have 59 60 ths. Box your answer. And that is box A. Now in the subsequent problems, if students come across 12 in the denominator, they'll be able to use the same list to help them out.